Every once in a while, we get to do a story that everybody we meet, we love. Behind me is a group of the coolest cats I've met in a long time. And as you will see, they are legit athletes. This is a Sports Plus Spotlight story where you too will fall in love with the athletes. I promise you. It's a studio in Ellisville, not real big, but the impact of what comes out of it for some families is enormous. Or even 40 years ago, parents were advised to put their children with Down syndrome into an institution because they wouldn't be able to do anything. These athletes can do everything. Once a week, 35 to 40 teenagers to adults with Down syndrome come to the St. Louis Family Martial Arts Academy. Take the teacher off. and owner is 60-year-old Dwight Trower, who originally wanted to spend his life working on cars. Instead, he's impacting lives. I've been saying this for the last 10 or 12 years. Is I, I, see, I see more hugs on the night that these guys do class than they do the rest of the week combined. Really hard. 22-year-old Joseph Niemeyer. Go. Is that? Nicely done. Is a second degree black belt who speaks as well as he strikes. And I'm off on Wednesday, so I come here and I just compete every time. And I love it here. It's fun. Give me energetic, gives me tired at night, but it is so much worth it. For Karen Kramer and her daughter, 27 year old Emily, who's also a second degree black belt, it's about overcoming barriers. They didn't really know what to expect. With the geneticists, they can pretty much tell you everything that is going to go wrong. But, um, you know, when in programs like this, it's about all the things that you can do. And um, it, it just puts a positive spin on, on life. So remember, everything you mess up will be on video forever. Trower keeps everything loose and fun, but he does push the athletes, as they will attest. He walks us as a dog. He makes us sweat every time. In the English language, we use superlatives all the time, right? We say something is amazing or it's awesome. Um, I get to see something almost every class with these guys that, that really is awe-inspiring. It's, it's really heartwarming to see some of the stuff the students could do. Um, and I just think we should all do something to make right a difference. As hard as you can, you got to yell really loud. Are you ready? Go. Oh, nicely done. Trower has made a difference in the life of 37-year-old Brandon Coyne, who is a yellow belt. He never misses it, and he looks forward to it every, every week. And even during the pandemic, every Wednesday night it was on virtually he was their kick 20 seconds left 20 seconds keep going trower only sees one real problem with the program really the challenge with you know our students with down syndrome is getting them to make contact you know because they're they're so nice and so gentle they don't want to hurt each other you can finish strong let's go but they are athletes make no mistakes this is 28 year old katie trower dwight's niece this is her sport She's been doing it for 21 years. And she feels great about herself and very proud of what she can do. And uh, when she sees how strong she is, it's, you, you can just see it. It's in her smile, her laugh, the way she talks, the way she walks. And the motivation level is off the charts. Listen to Greenbelt, Brendan Morris. Marco is working on drills, and I like to punch, kick. For just an hour a week, there are no constraints or restraints. Yeah. There are no barriers or blocks. Just a group of people having fun. After all, they get to break boards. It's really, really fun. It's like an opponent for baseball or whatever, and I focus on that, and I just use my mind and just kick it. It's a lot of fun.